Mrs. Brown, the baby is healthy, but your body is weak. I recommend that you stay in the hospital until the due date. My baby, mom will protect you from anything this time. The patient is in critical condition. Mr. Brown, please find compatible umbilical cord blood and surround the possible. Otherwise, she may not make it through tonight. Can you please leave Abby? It's all right. Where's Tabra? Yep. Hmm? We need to go now. We need your cord blood. Because Abby, she's critically ill right now. We want to save her. Now. No. No. I just lost one child. I cannot lose this one. No, no, no. Dr. Hall, he already told me. It's already safe for you. You don't understand. I've got the best doctors. It would be safe for a baby and for you. But we need to save her. And we don't have time. No, you bastard! It's our own child! Cameron, how can you do that? That'd be enough. If it wasn't because of you, she wouldn't be ill. I didn't do anything. Why don't you trust me then? Enough. You made her sick two years ago. And now, you just yell this excuse to lay her treatment. No! You think that Abigail is more important than our child? You don't understand. She saved my life. You don't even deserve to mention her name. I've got enough of it. You're going with no, me right now. No, Cameron, no! Yeah, Abby will die if she doesn't receive the treatment. And you know she saved my life 10 years ago. We should pay off. Don't worry. We already found the best doctors here. Baby, we'll be safe. But we have to do this. We should save Abby. Fine, Cameron. Please, I'll give you what you want. But if anything ever happened to our baby, I will never forgive you. Nothing will happen. Relax. Do the surgery immediately. All I want is for Abby to be. It is not me. Your child would be dead. And today, it's time to kill this little bastard. What will you do, Abigail? What are you going to do? My baby. Where's my baby? Cameron, where did you take him? Dear I... I'm sorry, but... We lost our jail. What do you mean? I know I said they would be safe then. It was an accident. Nobody could predict it. No, it was impossible. You lied to me! You told me it would be safe! I know I said that, but... It's all been an accident. Nobody could predict it. An accident? It looks like he's staying your way with Abigail, Cameron. I know you're mad, but... Please don't be Abby nuts. You were so harmless. He was your own child. You say such a careless thing about him. Stop, Deborah. If you want to blame us anybody, just blame us fate. It's not me or Abby. Get out of here! I don't want to see you! Deborah, don't blame him anymore. It is not his fault. He just took a rest because he cares about me. Shut up, bitch. Don't pretend to be good anymore. Don't do it. Dad, we're so sorry. I really haven't expected to lose your child. Please forgive Cam. Shut up. I said shut up! Crazy? You killed my baby! I know you're angry and mad at me. <laughs> Just don't blame Abby, okay? Please, please, Cam. Don't blame her. It's okay when you don't understand her. She just lost her child. Of course you feel angry. Please, maybe I can explain everything. I can talk to her. You go. You leave first. I'll be outside, okay? You're so stupid, Debra. You really thought that I was sorry? I've killed your bastard child. And you're so lucky that you're not dead yet. What did you <laughs> say? That isn't fun for you. But this child, how dare you get pregnant again? What do you mean? You killed my first child? <laughs> oh, that was a view. It was such a beautiful scene of time. You're laying over there, there's a bottle full of blood. I love it. You bastard!
bitch! I'll kill you! Just help me! What are you doing? Stop! Look at her! She's very weak! What are you doing? She even helped me to find the best doctors for you, you don't understand it! Dad, I want to go home. Who dare done this to you? I'll kill them! Mr. Wu, due to this tension on Miss Mori's surgical incision, she may need a second operation. Okay, thank you, Doctor. I know she hates me, but I totally understand her because she lost her child because of me. If I couldn't make it this time, please just say it on my behalf. Apologize to Deborah. Don't be silly. Don't be silly. I'm gonna be here. And Deborah. Don't touch me. If it wasn't because of her, I wouldn't be so weak. Deborah, why can't you accept that Abby's fine? She even helped me find the best doctors for you, and that's how we pay her? Putting her in critical conditions again? Is she dying again? It's not perfect if she dies. Then if we need to go to hell, pay her own white brown children. You are still blaming her. You. At least you revealed the two colors. You're disgusting. Disgusting? Not that much disgusting, Miss Abigail. You know what she has done to our children. Have you seen her? In her conditions? What possibly can she do to you? Come on, she just admitted that she killed our two babies just because they stay on her way becoming browns. Come on, <sighs> these two little lives. How could she be so heartless? Did you finish your irrational speech? Not only being malicious, but also a perfect liar. I know Abby very well, and she is much more better than you. She will never do such a thing. Really? After you lost your two children, you even still cannot see her real face. Oh yeah, I may be an idiot sometimes, but I did my own investigations and verified everything right now. You were trying to manipulate me. You were also trying to use this case to put it on Abby. And that's the worst. Don't ever mention this word. Don't you remember how we started? We may do a lot of things. You are trying to lessen your scenes with this? It's not gonna work. You better come with me right now and apologize to Abby. We are going right now. No, Cameron. No, I will not do it. Come with me. Apologize now. Don't even think about this. I won't do it unless I die. Kim, Kim, don't let her apologize. I understand she hates me. Oh, well, but you'll cut it out. If you're so shitty, why are you still breathing here? My patience is waiting. I apologize now. Cameron, why are you paying attention to some Abigail? I carried our baby for about eight months. Have you taken attention to me? Don't flip the tables. That was an accident. But you did it unintentions. <laughs> My belly hurts. Okay, okay. I will apologize. I will apologize. Don't play your tricks with me. <laughs> Are you mad? Abby! Doctor! Doctor! Die without my permission. That bitch. Even she's dead. She can't rest in peace. Cam hasn't said a word to me since she came back from the hospital. Cam, you can't be upset for such a long time. You know Deborah's death wasn't because of us. None of us wanted it. I know. I know. It's just... It's so hard to believe. You know, I refuse to believe. It's... 
It cannot be true. No. It's just not. Can't be, cannot be depressed for such a long time, you know? We haven't managed our company for so many days. The rumor began to spread, you know? So I think it's better for you to just keep going. And you know, none of us okay. really want to. Yes. Leave me for a while, okay? I just need some time. I'll take all that advice later, okay? Isn't that James, the young master of the Wilsons? Oh my god, I know this reach, but I didn't expect him to be such handsome. I envy the room by his side. This figure over there, she looks like Deborah. No, says stop mentioning her. Let her rest in peace. Enough. Let's get in. Mr. Brown, I didn't expect you to bring such an unsavory woman to my uncle's celebration. Do you despise this Wilsons? James. I'm his fiance. I heard that Mr. Brown's wife just died. How come you're so eager to flaunt your mistress in the public? Aren't you afraid of being exposed or humiliated? Mistress? What's your manners? She's my friend. Another. Who told you about my wife? James, what are you doing there? Deborah. Deborah, aren't you dead? I think you've mistaken me for someone else. I'm not Deborah. Deborah, stop joking around. I think you're still angry with Kim. You know, how can you be so intimate with another main public? Are you not afraid to embarrass Kim? Like I've said, I'm not Deborah. And excuse me, I have no time. Where are you going? Stop joking around. I know you're Deborah. Did you fake your death because of this man? What's wrong with you? Let go. I think Deborah's using Wilson just to make a revenge on us. I'm a cool security if you keep this up. Security? I'm not afraid of security, and I'm not afraid of Wilsons! Get out. Deborah, can't you live without a man? I've told you I'm not Deborah. Why do you persist? Deborah, stop playing game with me. I know you're Deborah. <laughs> How dare you to hit me? <gasps> I'm hitting the murderer of my child. Debra, stop it. You know she's very unhealthy, and yet you dare to hit her. <laughs> oh my god, if it is that painful, why don't you just die? If you were dead, you won't feel pain. Debra, why you hate me so much? Stop, Debra. Apologize to Abby, and until you do this, you're not gonna leave this place. Let's just see how arrogant those fools are, and how dare they harm us Wilson's. Thank you.